Today we'll be discussing the 2015 year-end close procedures in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. A little bit about me. My name is Abby Barton and I'm a Business Advantage Support Senior Associate at RAND Group. I have three plus years experience with Microsoft Dynamics GP. This includes versions 8.0 all the way through 2015 R2. I've also been in the software support industry for four plus years. A little bit about our Business Advantage team. We offer technical support, accounting support, and business management support. Today we'll be discussing the fixed assets year-end closing procedures. The purpose of closing your fixed assets is that the book set up current fiscal year will be increased by one, and also your year-to-date and life-to-date depreciations will be updated. Here's a summary of the steps. Number one, perform all the year-end closing procedures for payables management. Number two, enter all the fixed asset transactions for the current fiscal year. Number three, depreciate all assets through the last day of the current fiscal year. Number four, perform the GL posting process. This is optional. Number five, run any year-end reports that you want to keep as part of the year-end financial records. Number six, guarantee that the fixed assets calendar is built correctly. Again, this is optional. Number seven, verify that the quarters are set up correctly for all fiscal years. Number eight, create a backup. And number nine, perform the fixed assets year-end closing routine. Let's review those steps in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. Our first step to perform for the fixed assets year-end closing will be to complete the year-end closing procedures for payables management. I have already completed this, and if you'd like to watch the video, it was the third video I performed. Number two, enter all the fixed asset transactions for the current year. So for number two, you should post all the additions, the changes, the transfers, and the retirements for the current fiscal year. Just as a note, any transfers and undue retirement transactions should never be performed in a historical year. I have completed all my transactions for the current fiscal year, and for my third step, I'm going to depreciate all assets through the last day of the current fiscal year. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Fixed Assets, and I'm going to depreciate. So if you have multiple books, they'll all be noted here on Books on File, and I am going to select my target date as... 12 31 2017 and I'm going to add all my books to the selected book side and then click depreciate and ask if you want to now perform the depreciation I'm going to click OK and we'll let it run through the process while this is running just as a note it is very important to depreciate all assets to the last day of the current fixed assets fiscal year. If all assets are not depreciated through the last day of the current fiscal year prior to processing the year and close, depreciation amounts will be incorrect. Okay, so it looks like it has completed and now I'm going to exit out of the window. So now that we've completed the depreciation, we're going to perform step number four and that is the GL posting process. Remember, this step is optional. In order to do so, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Fixed Assets, GL Posting. So for this, I'm going to select period 12, which is my end one year, 12 one, click select OK, and I'm going to insert my last final month of December. If you are not running on a calendar fiscal year, or if you have more than 12 periods, the period that you type here will be different. So make sure you enter the correct period from and to. So now I'm going to click process. And then it made all of my depreciation transactions here. And then I'm gonna click post. And I'm gonna print this to screen and I'm going to save it. Okay, so you want to keep this report for your year-end financial records. So I'll click print. 
and print. And then I'm going to save this as my FAGL posting. And this was for internal. And save. Okay, and then I'm going to exit out of this window. Now that we've completed the GL posting process, your fifth step will be to run any year-end reports that you want to keep as part of your year-end financials. Some of the recommended reports are annual activity, additions, retirements, transfers, depreciation ledger, property ledger, and the fixed assets to general ledger reconciliation. So in order to find some of those reports, if you go to reports, fixed assets, activity, this will be where your annual activity report is. And if we do a sample of that, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, and let's pick our destination to screen so you may see it and click print. So this will be your annual activity report. You can go ahead and save this or print to your destination. To find the additions report, if you go to reports, fixed assets, and then do transaction, here's where you'll find your additions, and then there will also be your retirements report, and there is transfers. So that's where you can find those three reports. And then for your depreciation ledger, you'll go to reports, fixed assets, depreciation, and you can print your depreciation ledger here. To find the property ledger, you can go reports, fixed assets, inventory, and here will be your property ledger. And you can print this report as well. And then lastly, the fixed assets to general ledger reconciliation will be under reports, fixed assets, activity, and it'll be the fixed assets to general ledger reconciliation. And you'll want to print that. If you have more than one fixed asset book, it is recommended that you also print the following reports. So it'll be the book to book reconciliation and book to book year to date depreciation comparison. Those can be found on reports, fixed assets, comparison, and here's your book-to-book -book reconciliation and also your book-to-book -book year to date depreciation. So if you have multiple multiple books, please print those reports for your records. Okay, so now that we've completed our reports that we wanted to print and save them to our destination, so for step number six, you'll guarantee that the fixed assets calendar is built correctly. Remember this step is optional. So let's go view where my calendar is. And if we go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Fixed Assets, Calendar. So within this window, I can select my calendar ID, select, and then let's view my year. Since I'm closing the 27, 2017 year, I'm going to pull up 2018. Okay, so it looks like it's correct. If you need to build this calendar, there's a little option here in the corner, Build Calendar, and you can set up the current the years that you want to build the calendar for here. Currently I have everything all the way up until 2209. So I do not need to build the calendar now, I'm just going to click save. Okay, so for step number seven, you're going to verify that the quarters are set up correctly for all fiscal years. To do so, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Fixed Assets, and then click Quarter. So within here, I'm going to select my calendar ID. And then I'm going to make sure that the following boxes are not empty. So that'll be start date, end date, and mid date. So you see here, I have all my years. Actually, I need 2018. All of these have been filled out. If they are not filled out, you'll want to click build quarters. But it looks like all my quarters are correct. So I'm going to click save. Okay, so I've completed step number seven. Step number eight will be to create a backup. So you'll want to go into SQL, and I'm going to click on my company, tasks. Okay, so I'm going to create the backup. I'm going to remove this previous one and add a new one. 
and I'm going to name this one Year End FA 2015.back and click OK, OK, and OK. So the reason you want to do this, in case you need to go back for any reason before closing the year, you can always go back to this backup and we'll click OK. All right, so now let's go back into GP. Okay, so we've completed step number eight. Now we're going to perform step number nine. This is the fixed assets year end closing routine. So in order to do this, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Fixed Assets, and we're going to click year end. Okay, and we're going to insert all of our books. So this is going to be for my fiscal 2017, you'll see here. So now that we have those entered, we're going to click continue and we're going to start the process. And I'm going to print this to screen and save. Okay, it looks like it has completed, so I'm going to print and save this report. And this will be the FA year end closing report and click save. Okay, so I've saved my reports. Good. Now let's review what has been updated during the year end closing routine. So in the asset general information window, which I'll go to cards, fixed asset, general, and I'll pull up one of my assets. You'll notice here that the quantity field is copied to the beginning quantity field of the expand quantity window. So if we click this quantity, you see one here. If I click here, my beginning quantity will be one. And if we look at a few other ones, okay, so it looks like most of mine are one. But any changes made here, um, the current quantity will be copied to the be beginning quantity for the new year. Also, if you expand the last maintenance window, the year-to-date maintenance amount is cleared. So let's go to last maintenance. And you'll notice any current maintenance will now be zero. If there was um, maintenance done to this fixed asset previously, the life to date would have been updated. If we go to the book for this item, and I can click go to book, and I'll pull up an item. You'll notice that the year to date has been cleared and the life to date depreciation has been updated. Also, the following procedures are performed. The cost basis field is copied to your beginning year. So you'll see here these two match. And then the life to date depreciation field is copied to the begin reserve field. And then third, the salvage value field is copied to the begin salvage value field. So this one is cleared. Okay. So those are what are updated during the year-end closing procedure. Now that we have reviewed what has been updated during the fixed assets year-end closing, you have completed the fixed assets year-end process in GP. Now that we've completed the year-end close for this module, if you do need further support, here at RAND Group we do offer 24-7 support, especially during year-end close time. Just a little bit more about our company. We are originated in 1996. We have 100 plus local professionals to serve our clients. Our offices are located in Houston and Dallas, Texas, and we recently just became the top 1% of Microsoft partners worldwide. If you do need further assistance, you can email us at info at rangroup.com to schedule a private consultation or call at 1-866-714-8615 and you'll be connected to our support team right away. Thank you for watching.